Hi everyone, Eileen here. It's the weekend, so that means there's a Lavinia Stamps video tutorial from me to you. And today I'm featuring the absolutely beautiful Simi, along with some distress inks. Now on this topper, I used twisted citron and scattered straw. But I've played with those now, so I want to change and I'm going to do a different colour for this demonstration, and then you can choose the colours you like. I've got a piece of cardstock, and it is 12 centimetres by 15 centimetres. I think that was the size. Yes, no, I'm lying. 12 centimetres by 14. Yeah, 12 by 14 centimetres. And I've also marked it now. <laughs> it's um, multifarious cardstock from Lavinia Stamps. And I'm starting off with my choice of colours, Tattered Rose and Tumbled Glass. Along with one of these. This is the, one of the moon masks from Lavinia Stamps. You'll find them on the website. And I'm using the negative space and I'll be using the outside edge as well. So starting off with the negative space and tattered rose and a makeup brush. Loading up my brush, popping the negative space down, hold it tight so it doesn't move. And then with a circular motion, I'm not looking for loads of ink. And as I'm doing a circular motion, there's sort of a spiral effect in the middle. So you've got some white area in the middle of this moon um, image that hasn't got any ink on at all. And that's what I'm looking for. So it's sort of a fade out towards the middle. Okay, there's moon number one. Only doing two moons. So over we go, but I'm going down a little. I don't want them side by side. It looked like a pair of googly eyes. <laughs> so tumbled glass is next. And another makeup brush. Blue, of course, this time. Oh, blue, she says, look, and grabs a pink one. Duh. Here we are. <laughs> Just testing, okay? I'm excited today. It's um, Portuguese Grand Prix today. So I shall be in front of the TV all day <laughs> with healthy snacks, of course. Right, down we go. And then again, same thing. Holding it tightly so it doesn't move the stencil and doing a um, circle motion. Round and round and round and round. Not a very wet ink pad here, but I'm really holding tightly onto the head of the brush and sort of giving it a bit of welly and sort of really pushing it into the cardstock. Uh, that's nice. Okay, so moving on to Spice Marmalade. Now, I use Spice Marmalade on that other card as well. So that is the Twisted Citron and the Scattered Straw and then Spice Marmalade in the background. Same again. I find orange really goes with anything. Um, and then you still need this again, but clean it off. Actually, a cloth would be better. Clean it off, all of the ink, and from the middle as well, because otherwise it would just mark your card. So just a dry cloth will do that. And then I'm using the edge of this along with an orange brush. Spice marmalade. Now I don't really want it overpowering and it's quite a wet pad. So just gently, very gently kissing the surface of your cardstock. Just putting in a few lines. Now, if you haven't got one, of, well, you'll need the moon mask to do this. 
um, so you will have one. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you haven't got one, you can use a credit card, but... Okay, we'll go back a step. All right, forget I said that. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I shall be along tomorrow with another demo. Don't know what I'm doing yet, though. So just doing a few abstract lines here. I think that will do. Um, maybe a little bit more on here. I've changed my mind. Because Sim is going to go over the top of this and she is going to to um, disguise some of these lines, of course. Okay. And here she is. Now, you can use your stamp uh, press if you want to. I am going to be brave and um, ink up with Versafine Claire Nocturne. I have got the stamp pad underneath my copy paper here. So brave, but not stupid, you know. Just making sure that she's well inked because this image is so detailed and quite large, as you gathered. So it takes a, a little bit of time. <clears throat> then taking my wet cloth, uh, sorry, dry cloth, I'm just removing the surplus ink from the bottom here because that surely will mark everything. A bit there. Take your time with this. I think that I'm okay. Right. Maybe a bit there. So then I want to make sure that Simi is straight. So this block is, is a bit, um, it's not on the block straight, but it will be hopefully on the card going straight down. Like so. I think that's it. Well, it is now. I'm standing up, pressing down really firmly. Lovely day, sun is shining. Really good. Oh, Mrs. Brown's kids are outside skipping. I thought you needed a rope to skip with. Oh well. Right. Oh, look. Gorgeous, yeah? Isn't it? Right, a couple more bits to do. And I'm using mini dots here. That's next. Again, Versafine Nocturne, need that. And also the word art. Got the word art. And this is from the Inspire Me set. And you get Inspire, Dream, Art and Love. Use this a lot, especially in my journals, actually. I was doing a journal page yesterday. Oh, it was so relaxing. Really enjoyed it. Okay. So, gently tapping on the word art. And then make sure it's straight. And I'm going just down at the bottom here across. Hmm. Thought I had something on the block, but I haven't. Hopefully that's straight. Down and up. Yeah, that's not bad. And then I'm going to add to the word art by just... Popping down these mini dots on this edge. So it just adds a little bit. I did do another card where I added some more, and I, I don't know. Story of my life, it was over the top. So I've just gone back to one on this. So that's that. A white pen now. 
because I need to highlight the highlight that's in her eye. And then there's a couple of other little circles here that are crying out for a bit of white pen. So I'm going to do those. And other than that, I'm not going to touch it, I don't think. I think that looks quite nice. Mm. Actually, my eyes caught by this. It's, it's not, there's not really an awful lot going on in this. So, so shall I ruin it? <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time. Uh, let's try. Just adding a little bit more of this spice marmalade. Yes, that's not bad. I think I'd get away with that. I just wanted it to be more uniform and more balanced, and I think it is now. I think the spice marmalade in that area was too pale. Right, around the edge with archival ink. Taking care with fingers, of course. Like so. Oh, wrong lid. There it is. Wipe fingers on the cloth. Bring over the original card. I think I actually prefer the colours on this one. I think I prefer the colours on this one than I did on that one. Oh, look, got covered in ink again. <sighs> How often do I do that? I never learn my lesson. Always dry your ink, your work, Eileen, before you start moving it around. So I should have got the heat gun on that. But anyway, I've got rid of it. Well, most of it. That is where I put the archival ink around the edge. And I thought, I'll use archival ink because that will be instant dry. <laughs> Wrong. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's good if you see warts and all, isn't it? It's part of making cards. Hubby's back from walking the dogs. That was handy because I've just finished. So mount it up on another piece of cardstock. And I'll leave you with that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.